So it's a little bit chilly this morning. Um, just waiting for the van to defrost behind me, and then we're off to um, Seville now. Hopefully today we're going to get all our trenches done um, between the house and the road. So we've got gas, electric, um, electric gate, electric too, if that makes sense. Um, and, uh, and some uh, drainage, which is really important because uh, the build's getting wet because of the drainage. Okay, not for the next 10 days or so, hopefully. But, um, but yeah, that's really important. We've got to get that done. Um, so let's uh, let's see how we go on today so we've arrived at Vilnav uh, it's still a bit cold um, and I'm not keen on working outside in the cold um, so I'm gonna show you what I've been up to since I dug this hole outside so if you remember on the last uh, vlog, so we've got all water coming in here. Basically, none of this is coming through the doorway. It's all coming from this hole here. And basically the water's just backing up here. So what I'm gonna have to do is dig this hole a bit further that way. I was digging this hole because the water was uh, all going in the house. Well, let's see what I've been up to. So you may see, see something a little bit different in here. And that is that we've got the beams across most of the floor and the insulation in. And then this room, I finished. So I have saved that little gap between the two so I can show you the technique. Basically, I was expecting Anna to be able to come and film, um, but she's uh, unfortunately still looking after Emma because she's not been too well. But yeah, this room's ready. And let me show you how I'm, how I'm doing this floor. So first things first, I'm gonna measure the length of wood that I need, which is 316 in here. Now I've got these spaces here so that when I cut my insulation boards in half it fits exactly um, in between the two beams. So basically we're going to cut this beam, drill it into the floor so it's secured on the floor and then fill it with insulation. Not the most interesting uh, thing we've done here but I'm going to show you anyway. We'll probably put it on a time lapse and uh, let's go okay Cyril so Cyril is just cutting off the end tongue that that clips them together normally because it's not really made for this job and then you can see he's drawn a line and he's going to cut it in half so it fits in between our wooden uh, our wooden uh, joists the particularity about this room that we're working in is that none of the cuts are the same length. So every single uh, beam that I'm putting in now has to be measured and, and cut. So we'll show you this, um, this first one going in. And then, like I say, maybe we'll just put it on a time lapse. cut this beam to length so now I just have to prepare for the uh, bolts going in the, uh, the raw plugs and the screws I'm going to countersink with this 14 mil bit drill a hole with this 8 mil drill bit and then we're going to mark the floor um, with the uh, concrete drill and then uh, I can just drill my hole in the concrete and then plugs and screws go in Thank you. 
let's go and get it in. So we're just getting the plugs in through the wood and then we're just going to hammer those uh, those screws through. Yay. So the technique with these is just to whack them in, but because I've countersunk, I'm going to have to use the, uh, the drill to screw them in at the end. So rather than screwing, I'm just going to whack it. Whack them with this. Just share these all on, stuff So that's in now and secure. I'm just going to put the insulation in and move on to the next one. So there we go, another bay almost done, got about six or seven still to go. I'm going to spare you the pain of watching another six or seven bays um, and, then, uh, and then we're going to get on outside. You can still see it's a bit chilly because I've got a bit of steam when I'm talking. Um, so yeah, uh, we're going to get on with this and then back on outside. My most important job of the day then, I've just uh, sent a letter, well, a card to my uh, mum, Charles's grandma. Um, and uh, basically I was, what the French call, charge de mission, to go and uh, basically uh, take, take that to the post office and get it stamped up, make sure it gets there as quick as possible. So it's a nice little job to do halfway through the day. Um, I'm going to get on with building now. So we've just started digging the trench for the gas and for the electric gate. Um, now um, I thought I'd just put it on a quick, uh, a quick time lapse to just to show you digging the trench. Also, I've been out and I've got the caniveau, the kind of grills that we're going to put in in front of the um, garage so that we don't get any water going in the garage. So I'm going to put those about a metre away, but first things first, we've got to get this trench done. Thank you. 
So the trench went in really quickly. Um, there were a couple of things that we knew about and uh, were very wary not to touch. One was a thick electric cable and the other one was the internet or telephone cable. So I'll show you the trench in a second, you can see that. We also found a um, drainage pipe for the gutter that's next to me here, just here, off the roof, off the main roof. Um, but I'm not so sure that connects to the road or goes anywhere interesting. I think it might just go into the ground and be a soak away. Uh, we're gonna look at that after. We wanna get this pipe in. Uh, the gas pipe along with the electrical cable for the gates and uh, and close this trench up. There's a bit of water coming out of one of the pipes, that's normal. It's from the, um, it's actually the conduit uh, for the for the electric cable and it was full of water. So I think Cyril must have just touched it with something and it's pierced it a little bit and a little bit of water's coming out. But apart from that, everything's going really well. Um, let me show you the trench. So there's the pipes I was talking about. Well, the pipe off the roof and then the conduit for the uh, cable and telecom. Got a slight curve on the trench because the pipe is curved and I thought it might just make it a little bit easier to, to get in the hole. And you can see Cyril beavering away at the end there, just getting everything cleaned up. Now I've done the trench.